Today on The Hookup, we're going to take a look at two very similar solar-powered blinds motors with two very different price tags. I'm going to push them to their limits and figure out if you get what you pay for. You don't. A couple of months ago, I made a video about motorizing your blinds using Arduino and some stepper motors. But some of the commenters were concerned with the level of technical know-how required to do the install, and others were looking for a solution for their rolling shades. So in this video, I'm going to take a look at two off-the-shelf blind motors, the Axis Gear, which retails for $249, and the Zemi Smart AOK blinds motor that costs just under $50. In my test, the Zemi Smart motor actually performed slightly better than the Axis in most areas, with the Axis only coming out on top in the Smart Home Integration category, which probably isn't worth the extra $200 per unit. This isn't my first time checking out the Axis gear. At CES, I spent some time talking to their development and sales team, and while I thought they were really nice guys, I ultimately couldn't wrap my head around the fact that they wanted $250 for a small geared motor with a solar panel. There's just nothing in the Axis motor that's revolutionary. It's just a bunch of basic parts put together in a pretty package. So when ZemiSmart told me they were going to be offering a solar-powered blinds motor, I was really happy to see a reasonable price tag. Let's start out by taking a look at the physical construction of these two blinds motors, and I'm going to point out some of their quirks. Starting with the Axis gear, the front of the unit has capacitive touch buttons that are used to adjust the blinds once they're installed. The large X at the top is the power button, which needs to be held down for roughly 3 seconds to turn the device on. On the back, there's a panel that covers the drive gear. A magnet on the bottom of the cover activates an internal reed switch or possibly a Hall effect sensor that prevents the unit from powering on when the cover is removed. I suppose this design decision could have been implemented for safety, but it actually caused the axis to fail in one of my tests later on. On the bottom of the unit, the solar charger and battery backup connect via an Apple-style MagSafe connector that I found to be super annoying. It's really easy to bump this connector and cause the unit to power off, especially when there's a moving blind behind it. The Zemi Smart Blinds motor has physical buttons instead of a touch panel for the on-unit adjustments, and the setup controls are located on the bottom. The solar unit attaches to the bottom via a 3.5mm headphone style jack, and there's an additional jack for attaching an AC power adapter if you'd like to use it that way. Both of the devices have internal lithium ion batteries with solar panels to keep them charged. The solar panel for the Axis gear measures 13 inches by 1 inch, compared to the Zemi Smart that measures 1.5 inches by 5.5 inches. Usually when it comes to solar cells, Area is the most important thing, so we'll have to see whether the Zemi Smart blinds can survive on a smaller amount of solar energy captured. In the box, the Zemi Smart blinds driver includes the motor, some different gear shapes for different style pull cords, a solar panel for charging the internal lithium battery, a power adapter, and some screws and double sided tape for mounting. Unboxing the Zemi Smart blinds motor was very utilitarian. No extra packaging anywhere, just the minimum amount of space required to deliver all the required components. The Axis package includes very similar parts. The motor, this time with only a single gear shape, a solar panel with 12 pre-installed AA batteries that are used as backup power, and a mount with screws and double-sided tape. The Axis doesn't come with an AC power adapter, but when you log into the app for the first time, they offer to send you one for free. The Axis gear delivers a more Apple-like unboxing experience with a well-fitting box, lots of internal compartments, and fancy cardstock for the instructions. And while I've kind of come to expect expensive products to have satisfying packaging, I honestly don't care about it, and I often wonder how much more I'm paying just for the packaging that's going to go in the trash anyways. For my initial test, I decided to give them something easy and control the tilt of my horizontal blinds. In order to do that, I needed to make a slight modification to my blinds. Specifically, the tilt mechanism on my blinds is operated by two different strings instead of a loop like these motors are designed to work with. No problem though, I just tied on a small length of chain between the two strings to turn them into a loop. In order to do as little damage to my window molding as possible, I also decided to use the two small screws instead of the double sided tape, which likely would have ripped off the paint if I ever tried to remove it. To mount the Zemi Smart blinds, you just hang the motor by looping the chain around the gear and letting the motor hang freely with the back plate in its highest position setting. After you've marked that position, you can use double sided tape or the two screws to attach the back plate to the wall. The back plate has different indentations that allow for the tension on the pull cord to be adjusted after mounting. 
My installation process took about 15 minutes, including adding the beaded chain to the pull cord. After getting it mounted, I installed the A-OK Blinds app, and I held the button on the bottom of the unit for three seconds. Then I pressed Add New Devices in the app. The blinds motor was discovered after a few seconds, and I was ready for setup. The setup process involved setting the upper and lower limits for the blinds and configuring the speed of the motor. The app is pretty no frills and it has a picture of a blind that you raise up and down to move the motor. There are also options to create a schedule for your blinds, which I really think is going to be the main use of these units. Because without Wi-Fi, Zigbee, or Z-Wave, there just aren't that many options for setting it up with a larger home automation system. Ultimately, the app is the biggest downfall of this device. Not only is Bluetooth a terrible control protocol, but since it needs to connect directly to a phone, that means only one person in your house can be connected to the blinds. Another really annoying thing about the app is that it felt the need to notify me every time I walked out of range of the blinds motor after opening the app. I think this blind motor could be made a million times better with something like a Bluetooth to Wi-Fi bridge that would maybe use something like the Tuya app. Hopefully that's in the works. The Axis gear installs in a very similar fashion. You hang it from the pull cord, mark the backplate mounting holes, screw it into the wall, and then ratchet the unit into place to apply the correct amount of tension to the pull cord. The Axis Gear also has its own app and it uses Bluetooth for setup. When you add the blinds, it asks if you want to add them to your smart home hub or run them from the app. Interestingly, it says that if you configure them to run on your smart home hub, then they lose all functionality through the app. So I guess you have to choose between Bluetooth or Zigbee and not both. The setup of the Axis Gear was similar to the Zemi Smart Motor. You put the Axis Gear in pairing mode by pressing the pair button and then it's discovered by the app in a matter of seconds and you're ready to set up. You can set both the open and closed end stops and then select what kind of window covering you're going to be controlling. Interestingly enough, when selecting the window covering type, there was no option for horizontal blinds. Which I say is interesting because in all of my tests, it is the one application that both of the motors seem to perform best. With the Zemi Smart operating maybe slightly faster and slightly quieter. However, both of them were much noisier than I expected. I traced the problem to the metal beads that I had used to create the loop. They were getting stuck in between the grooves of the drive gear and creating terrible popping noises. So the next obvious step was testing the gears with different style pull strings. On Amazon, I ordered some beaded plastic string as well as some normal thick curtain string. And then I repeated the test with the other two styles of cord. I found that while the metal beads that I initially tested offered good grip, they were way too noisy to be considered. The curtain rope was extremely quiet and caused the motors to run really smoothly, but they were prone to slipping at the end of their range. The happy medium between the two was the plastic beaded string from Amazon, which was reasonably quiet while still offering plenty of grip to get the blinds completely closed. So should you buy these motors just because they can tilt some horizontal blinds? If you're looking for an off-the-shelf solution, the Zemi Smart Motor can fill that need for under $50. I also think these motors are a good option if you're a renter and not able to make modification to your blinds or building. But we haven't even touched on the main advertised purpose of these motors, which is controlling roller style shades. Unfortunately, I don't have any roller style shades in my house, but my neighbor does. In fact, they have a very large rolling blind with a beaded chain that covers their sliding patio door. According to the Axis Gear guys, as long as the blind has a beaded chain, the gear will be able to control it. So I headed over to my neighbor's house to test that claim. I started out with the Axis Gear, and my initial test was a complete failure due to these extra large end stop beads that were installed on the pull chain. As these beads went through the Axis Gear, it caused the back of the gear to pop off which in turn caused the motor to power down completely. I of course wasn't satisfied with that result, so I temporarily removed those end stop beads and I tried again. On the second try, the gear was able to lift the blinds, albeit very slowly and with a lot of unhappy noises from the motor, but it failed to lower the blinds properly. The problem came when the connector for the two ends of the pull cord tried to move through the gear, and it caused some extra work for the motor. The extra work was interpreted by the device as someone or something getting caught in the blinds and therefore it shut down the movement. No matter how many times I tried, I couldn't get the Axis gear to reliably open and close this shade. 
and the error was always related to that chain connection piece. Next, I tried the ZemiSmart device to see if it could handle the weight of this large shade. Again, it slowly lifted the shade while making the familiar sounds of a struggling motor, but it also got stuck on the chain connector piece. I was able to get the blinds to continue to raise by reissuing the move up command, but a scheduled open or close command would fail in this situation. Unlike the Axis gear, the ZemiSmart motor comes with other gear shapes to attach different style cords, so I thought maybe that would fix the situation. I swapped out to a different gear that was supposed to be designed for larger chains. Unfortunately, that actually made the problem worse, and it made it so the motor wasn't even strong enough to move the shade in the first place. If you're looking to use these motors to move a large roller shade like this one, make sure to keep your receipt and get ready for disappointment, because they likely won't work consistently, if at all. Still, I'd imagine that smaller shades are going to work without any issue, but do be aware that that connection point on the beaded loop may cause issues. For completeness, I also checked out how well these motors could operate vertical blinds, and they were both able to successfully control the tilt of the very large blinds in my classroom, which have a beaded style pull chain. But opening and closing the blinds was less reliable due to the curtain string slipping near the end of the track. The ZemiSmart documentation also hinted that it may be able to raise horizontal blinds by attaching the pull cord to the notch in the gear. Unfortunately, that test went about as well as I expected it to. Still, it's an interesting feature that wasn't even attempted on the Axis gear. And if you've got some really light blinds, they might work. Bottom line, these motors work mostly as expected, and they can control smaller rolling shades, and they can consistently handle the tilting mechanism of both horizontal and vertical blinds. But one of the main selling points of these motors is the installation convenience that comes with being solar powered. So just how long should you expect the internal battery to stay charged off the solar charger alone? It's obviously going to vary based on use case, but in my opinion, it's reasonable to expect these motors to operate four times per day. A scheduled opening in the morning and closing at night, and maybe an on-demand open and close during the day. For my test on the ZemiSmart motor, when I was tilting my blinds, the battery depleted about 1% per 10 open and close cycles. And in Florida, the battery was able to charge up an average of 1% per day. So you should theoretically never have to externally charge the battery when using it for tilt. In contrast, when I was testing it on my neighbor's roller shades, each open and close movement exhausted roughly 6% of the battery. So the solar charger would absolutely not be able to keep up with the demand in that situation. When I was testing the Axis gear, the battery indicator never changed regardless of the amount of sun the solar cell was receiving. I never saw the internal battery indicator change as a result of solar charging alone, and the backup batteries always reported 100%. I'm not sure if my unit is defective or if the app just doesn't have very accurate battery percentages, but I find both of those readings to be suspect, so I'm not able to make a definitive recommendation about the battery life of the Axis. However, Based on reviews on Amazon, people have had very mixed success with the solar charging capabilities of the Axis gear. And you can find lots of forum posts about users needing to replace the 12 AA backup batteries in the solar unit every six months or so. So back to the initial question, is the Axis worth five times more than the ZemiSmart? The short and definitive answer is no. In all my tests, the two motors perform nearly identically. The only significant difference between these two products is that the Axis motor can be controlled by Zigbee. I unfortunately don't have a working SmartThings hub at the moment, but I was able to add the Axis gear to my Hubitat test installation after about an hour of fiddling around and searching GitHub for previous versions of their driver code. Supposedly, the SmartThings integration is a bit easier, but again, I didn't test it. So aside from Zigbee, which I agree is a pretty big deal, the Zemi Smart Motor does everything that the Axis gear does for less than 20% of the price. To put it into perspective, the downstairs in my house has six windows with horizontal blinds. That means to add a Zemi Smart AOK motor to every window, it would cost me $284, just $35 more than a single Axis gear. And to do it with all Axis motors, I'd be looking at just under $1,500, which is insane to me. If you're thinking about buying either one of these motors and you'd like me to put them through some specific stress test, just let me know down in the comments. As always, thank you to my awesome patrons over at Patreon for your continued support of my channel. If you're interested in supporting my channel, please check out the links down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button so it gets suggested to other home automation enthusiasts. If it's your first time here, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching The Hookup.